What's going on, Cancer? Checking the energy. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. You guys just purchased a reading. If you've donated to my page, I'm so grateful. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Put it on whatever side you need to, okay, my loves? You guys have awakening. Oh, my Lord. Wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Okay, so you guys, you're going through some sort of awakening. Or you will be soon. Awaken you from your life as a spiritual sheep means that you're going to be making some moves soon. So you're going from a person that's calm. Sheep are very calm animals to me. They just look at you, right? They observe. So you guys are going from a point of observation to a point of action. Okay? Um, Spirit is wanting you to. Now, we have this Nine of Wands energy in reverse. Mm -hmm. Someone could have kids, maybe very stressed out. Okay, with this energy here. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Or have that in their chart. Or dealing with one. Okay. And what this energy is, is like somebody that wants to fight for something. Right? But you're like, you know what? This is in reverse. I don't want to do this no more. Okay? I'm tired of compromising. Right? I don't want to fight with someone anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to give up. I'm tired. I'm I'm over it. Um, I have no more faith that this is going to work out. You know, there's no optimism, nothing, okay? And I think that this is why Spirit is pulling someone through. Oh, yeah. Seven of Pentacles is um, sideways here. Five of Cups energy is here. Okay, so someone may have lost somebody. I'm, I do want to give my uh, deepest condolence if you have. Okay, like physically, someone could have passed on. This um, this death could uh, catapult someone uh, through an awakening. Okay, it's the deepest hurts that we go through that pull us through. Um, where we feel like we just, the hurt, the pain is just really, really, really severe. That's usually when we are going through an awakening. Okay, so someone could have passed on and someone could just be saying, you know, I give up. You know, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here with the seven of pentacles energy. This is, um, you know, part of you feel like things are going to be coming to fruition. Part of you wants to persevere. But the other part of you is saying, I just I'm tired. You know, I don't really have any more effort. I'm, I'm tired. There's no growth. I'm tired of everything taking so long. You know, someone here feels like they work themselves to death. They don't see the benefit of it. I see that, you know, there's a lot of differences and changes, right? You may like things to be really structured, but instead of them being structured, you've had to go through a lot of uh, adaptive measures. Okay, someone's very frustrated here. I see someone that's exhausted. Okay, someone could be dealing with someone that is ill too if the person has not passed on. This could be draining someone of their energy or this could be you could be sick or it can be someone around you. Oh boy. My apologies to whoever's going through this energy. Um, this awakening is being called for anyone that needs to pay attention to their own instincts. Okay, um, someone may see that their instincts are very heightened. Okay, you may be hearing voices. You may feel like you're going crazy right now. You're not. Okay, um, this is um, your guides speaking to you. Okay, so just I don't want someone to feel like they're going nuts right now as they're going through this process. Okay, someone's needing to balance their energy. Sagittarius energy is here again. Okay, Um 
balancing masculine feminine energy balancing hope you know harmony um healing for yourself at this time hmm. having patience with yourself at this time allowing yourself the time it takes for you to align to your purpose with spirit Spirit wants you to know with this temperance energy coming out here that everything that you need will be taken care of. All of your needs will be met. You just have to have that faith that this is coming in, right? You're being protected by your by your angels, your guides, you know. Um, they want you to have spirit, uh, excuse me, inner peace. I was about to say spirit peace. No, inner peace. <laughs> yeah, they want you to be calm, cool, and collected. Right. This is the time after you go through this, you're going to see that your life is going to transition. Good people are going to come in. Right. You're going to have good chemistry with these people. No drama. Right. For some of you, you're still going to have someone on your mind that you want to fix something with. Spirit is wanting you to, to heal yourself from that so that you can raise your vibration so that you can call in something or someone that's right for you. Nine of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Yep, you went through a lot of heartache, heartbreak here. Spirit is knowing and wanting you, you know, instead of you saying, you know what, I give up, right? Spirit wants you to surrender to ending a cycle, okay? Not going back. Okay, not doing the same thing that you've been doing. Someone may have been stuck for a while, but this awakening is going to help to jog you out of it. Hmm. Some of you are in a situation where you don't know anything that's going on and you're just sitting there trying to piece it all together. As this awakening happens to you, you're going to be getting the answers that you need. I think that you're going to have the tools that you need to go forward. Whatever the information is or the knowledge that you're getting from spirit is going to help balance you out so that you can walk forward. Okay. So that you can be fulfilled. All right. And go through this transition. For some of you, with going through this awakening, you're going to find out that you're an immortal soul in a human experience. Not going to resonate with everyone. Right? With the Seven of Pentacles energy here, you know, with things coming to fruition or not knowing if they are, or you feeling like, you know, things are procrastinated, you know, you're not getting any growth, lots of delays in your life. What is spirit? What do we got to say about this? Okay, so it is saying that you are a magician. You have the power to manifest yourself out of whatever this is. Okay, the magician energy is just that. Focus, power, concentration, control. You have the energy to change whatever is happening in your life or to get yourself to a better place. You have to start manifesting the things that you want in your life. Okay. You really have to be passionate about it and honest with yourself, though. Okay? Um, because if you're not as honest as you need to be, you may find yourself still stuck in a cycle. World card. Changing your perception on a situation or a person is going to be the key here for someone. You may not be looking at things the way you need to. Okay, these just fell out in my hand. Yeah, and uh, when I said that, you're not looking at something the way that you need to. Someone, you know, has a lot of passion for someone. And this causes you to give them the benefit of the doubt. You you actually, you know, you, you really like this person. Six of Wands energy. Right, you feel like, or someone felt like, they were with someone that people look up to or 
they were with someone that other people want. Queen of Wands energy, right? I find that someone is flirty, optimistic, strong, assertive, sexy. Someone has a bad temper, though. Um, I'm thinking that someone is needing to understand that whatever this is, is this is something where um, this is not permanent. This is not stable. This is not the type of relationship that you possibly want. I'm getting like friends with benefits or something. Why does these cards keep falling out of my hand like this? Yeah, we got Wheel of Fortune out here. We got the World Card, Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, okay? Now, King of Swords energy is somebody that's taking back control, right? Somebody that's the authority, someone that has power, someone that's very intellectual, okay? This, this is a person that's going to be fair, right? This person thinks about what it is that they need to do or what they need to say or the way they need to move, okay? So based on how you move now, depends on the good uh, fortune that you get, okay? If you move wrong, you're going to be stuck in the cycle. But if you move correctly, you're going to be ending a cycle and moving on, okay, to balance. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, Spirit is telling me to look. Knight of Cups. All right, you got someone around you that's very romantic when they want to be, but they're shallow and immature, right? They like to come around. They like to get you interested. They like affection. You may, you know, uh, see this person, you know, here and there, but, you know, you don't really rock out with this person. They don't really give you what you need to have. So someone may be getting spiritual downloads and going through an awakening that's going to enlighten you about this person, okay? Right? Let's see how this goes. I'm leaving it here. I'm sending you guys love and light. Y'all take care.